Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful fall makeup look, and it's one of my favorites. I'm using the ever so lovely unzipped Lorac palette, which is one of my favorites, and hopefully you guys enjoy this look just as much as I did, and let me know if you want any other videos, um, any makeup, any palettes to use, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, but just stay tuned to know how I did this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is prime my eyes. Um, unfortunately, I can't find any other primer besides this one. So, even though Lorac comes with its own primer, I don't know where I put mine. So I'm just going to use this one. Um, and just place it all over the lid and just blend it with your finger so that, you know, your makeup stays. Sometimes if you want the makeup to be a little bit more, um, kind of just out there and visible, you could put on um, another base, like a cream shadow of some sort. And all you do for that really is just take, you know, your color, place it on your lid, and then just take your finger and smooth it out. Um, this is the NYX uh, Pencil in Milk, and the reason why I like this one is because it's it's just white, and when you apply it, it gives you just a nice base for the eyeshadows to stick to, and this gives you a really, really nice kind of um, base color, because especially with like any shimmery, peachy pinks, I feel like some of them have um, a tendency to kind of disappear once you start blending other colors on top so I want to make sure I keep it super super out there and noticeable but Lorac seems to do a really nice job with um, the uh, shimmery colors I like them a lot now this is the Lorac Unset palette if you haven't seen it it's one of my favorite palettes it's cheaper than the Naked um, Urban Decay palettes and it just has such phenomenal colors. So I'm going to start out by using this one right here. It's Unreal. That's what it's called. It's a nice shimmery color and I'm going to be using the um, Sigma E55 which is just um, a shader brush. I'm going to just take that color and pat it on the inner kind of half of the eye. It's very pink so if you don't really like pink based colors you might want to you know mix it a little bit with the gold that's right next to it. But I really like pink colors, so I'm just going to place that in the inner corner. And simply just kind of blend that in, make sure it kind of looks good. And then I'm going to start patting the next color in. And that's going to be this one. It's called Unattainable right here. And it's like a, I hope you guys saw that one, it's this one. And I'm going to pat this on the outer, like half of it, ever so slightly. Like right on the outer corner half. And we're just going to take a blending brush and kind of blend it in. Now I'm taking the E40 blending brush and just kind of going back and forth. Um, this is just to soften up the crease and just give it, you know, a little bit of a shadow. Because again, I said this is like an everyday kind of a look that I, I like to wear a lot. And I don't like it to be completely like out there, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Unattainable again on the blending brush a little bit. Just pat it on and then just kind of keep blending it. And I like to kind of just push down with the brush and then blend it because with like, I don't know, I feel like more of the color gets in on the bottom. And I like to use uh, my eyeshadows first and then put on my foundation because whenever I do like darker looks I feel like I always end up getting it underneath my eyes and my like, concealer gets ruined and not about that life so just like that and then again to just add a little bit of sparkle I'm gonna use um, Undiscovered which is the gold on the same E55 brush and just pat it in the middle straight up the middle of the eye like that and then I'm just gonna take the blending brush we were using before to just blend it and this just gives you the whole like rose gold silver pinkish and then gold and it's I don't know I just really like metallics and kind of colors like that I feel like they're really pretty now I don't know if you guys can see the difference yet but this eye is where I started creating a deeper crease right here and this one has yet to get one so what I'm starting to do is I'm going to take unspoken which is this nice dark brown I'm going to take uh, the E30 which is a nice pencil brush and start drawing kind of like a crease for it so that you know you can you can tell where that deep shade is supposed to go 
and you're really just simply gonna press it in there and just move it back and forth and then go back and forth with a blending brush just making sure that it goes really lightly and there's nothing really too intense going on and then I'm gonna move on and get a little bit of a darker color with unspoken though you gotta make sure that it's really in there in the crease kind of defined because that's your base color that's gonna keep it you know defined so that when you put on other colors it kind of just shows up so the next color I'm going to take is Unbrindled, which is this one. Mix it a little bit with Untamed, because they're darker, obviously. And we're going to just put that in the very outer crease. Like, I don't want this all the way up at the top. And I'm just going to push it in. And then, just taking Unbrindled, I just keep patting it in there. And I'm going to start by blending it out really lightly. And blend outwards rather than you know, inwards, you really want the lid to be the lightest part. Alright, so now that I did that, I'm just going to go in with Undercover, which is probably one of my favorite highlighter colors of all time. It's a really nice, kind of not shimmery, but like a, it gives a reflection anyways. But I'm going to take the E70, which is my favorite um, kind of eyebrow highlighter brush. Um, I'm just going to place this color right underneath the eyebrow. Like this. And then I'm going to take the blending brush that, you know, I was using before and just slightly kind of just blend the outer part in this way. Like, the highlight's there, but it's not something where it's, like, completely obnoxious. I really like it when the highlight is kind of blended with the crease colors, but I also want it that it's, like, defined... Um, like the eyebrow and defines the, the shape of the um, crease so I'm kind of really trying to just shape it properly right now softly blending it don't put pressure down on the brush keep it very light and subtle there's still pigments like um, little colors on the brush so they'll do the job as long as you just brush it lightly and then the next thing is I'm gonna put on um like the rest of my face makeup and concealer and start putting colors underneath the eyes because I want to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And if you guys want to uh, see how I do my foundation right now, like at least my foundation routine like currently, um, I will definitely link it down below and maybe put like an annotation here if you guys want to go check it out. Um, and at the end of the video because I've changed my foundation routine since um, the last time I made a video so I wanted to kind of just update you on that. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a small um, brush that I can place underneath like the inner corner of my eye so that um, it brightens up my my obviously my eyes and um, gives me a little bit more of a highlight I think I'm gonna be using the um, F70 which is like a concealer brush Ooh, it's dirty it's blue um, and using that color like in the inner corner so I took unreal which is the um, shimmer color we used at the very beginning I'm just placing this in the inner part of the eye and you want to kind of just be very gentle with this because sometimes people overdo it with the highlighting. Even if it's just like ever so slightly, but you can definitely overdo it. Um, and then I'm going to just take um, Undercover, which is the light highlight shade. Put that right on top. Because I feel like that gives me a little bit more of a highlight. And I really like having bright highlights. It just makes me happy in general. <laughs> now, on the very bottom, I actually took the darkest color, which is Untamed, with the same concealer brush I was using before. And I'm just, like, lining the outer lash line with this. Um, just because I wanted to define my eyes ever so slightly. Now, I'm just going to take the E60, which is, like, a large shader, look up, and just blend. Because it gives me that, like, nice, light, light, smoky effect. Because I really don't want a lot of color underneath it, and it's just nicely defined that way. So anyways, I completely hated the eyeliner, ooh, excuse me, that I was using. So I decided to take the NYX Gel Eyeliner in Jet Black, and I used my uh, E65 brush to make these lines. And I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some false eyelashes, and then do my foundation routine in another video, because that's what I want to do. <laughs> 
And then for the lipstick, I just used Max um, Twig and one of the NARS lip glosses that I have, just to kind of bring out my lips as well. So I already just put on the foundation. It kind of just ties everything together, makes everything look a little bit better. Um, the thing is, if you guys want to know how I did my foundation, I'll have a separate video on it because I know it's like a completely different thing that people want to see and some people don't. So if you choose that you don't want to see it, you don't have to watch it. But, you know, if you do, you can totally click the link down below. Um, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows and I'll be done uh, for the look, basically. And just like that, I'm done. So this is pretty much the look. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!